I would like to show you how to install and use Firefox. Firefox is another browser just like Internet Explorer. Uh, Firefox though I think is a much more powerful uh, browser. It allows you to do more things and gives you more options. To install Firefox I simply go to Google type in Firefox. Now it comes up. You can see I've already clicked on it before. When it, it turns purple that means the link has been clicked on. Uh, it says Firefox web browser and that's at mozilla.com. Mozilla makes Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and select that and now there's a new version out. I have actually not, I have not actually tried Firefox 3 yet so I'm going to go ahead and go through the steps on how to download it and then show you some of the features of it as I learn them myself. So to download all you do is you let's see Firefox download click on the arrow and it asks me if I want to run or save this file I'm gonna go ahead and save this you can simply just click run um, I'm gonna save this to my desktop Firefox setup I'm gonna save it there it'll take a couple minutes for it to download okay once it's downloaded go ahead and click on run and it's going to run the file and it asks if Windows Vista asks if you want to run the software and I know that I want to run it because I do want to install it so I go ahead and click on run and now it goes through and it tells me that it needs the my attention to continue to do this I'm just gonna set this up I click next now make sure to go through and read the software license I've already read this and so you can read it to make sure that you accept everything inside of the software license. Once you've read it, click on the I accept the terms in this agreement, click next. Now you can customize your installation to have different experiences. I just recommend the standard one for right now. And then down here it says use Firefox as my default web browser. That means when you open up uh, something from the internet it'll by default open it up inside of Firefox instead of Internet Explorer. I'm going to keep that checked because I do prefer using Firefox to Internet Explorer, but if you prefer Internet Explorer and would like to just try Firefox, then unselect that one. Go ahead and click on Next, and then click on Install. It says it's going to install it on my C drive, Program Files, Mozilla File, Firefox. Go ahead and click Install, and now it's going through the process of installing. It's finished, and it says to launch Firefox now. I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can see it. Now it also gives you a great option that you can import options, bookmarks, history, uh, anything that you have stored inside of Internet Explorer. Maybe you have certain passwords uh, at websites that you have stored or you just have all your bookmarks of favorite places. You can import those things. I'm going to go ahead and do not import anything. Click Next. Now whenever you upgrade Firefox, you open up a new Firefox, download it for the first time, it opens up with two tabs. The first tab is just kind of explaining about the new version of Firefox, Firefox 3. The second tab is the window that will open up uh, when you're working on it. And this is just a window that has a Google search in it that's powered by Firefox. So you can have this set up. This just comes up the first time and it, after that it, this is just if you have questions or anything let's go ahead we can close out of that tab by clicking on that X now we have Firefox so that's how easy it is to use Firefox in another video I will show you different things that you can do to enhance Firefox to make it more your your browser to make it just for you this has been a brief tutorial from sterlingteaches.com